Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Sorry that there's gonna be like three videos really close together where I'm wearing exactly the same thing. I just had a spare afternoon and thought I would do a batch filming. This is the final one I'm filming though, so I don't know what order I'm gonna post these in, but I'm wearing the same clothes, I'm sorry. In today's video, I'm going to talk you through the books that I'm studying this semester at uni and my English Lit course is my final semester at uni, but yeah. I'm only doing, well I'm doing two English modules but one of them is poetry and I don't really want to sit here and go through each of the different poems that I'm studying so I thought I'd just go through my book module that I'm doing. So the module I'm doing this semester is called Scandal and Outrage and it's about controversial literature of the 20th and 21st century. I'm going to take you through each of the books I'm doing and they're in no particular order. Some of these I may have spoken about before because obviously I've been reading them. So the first book is Ollie Arna by David Mamet which is a play. This is about, I don't know how, it's about relations between teachers and students and um, what crosses a boundary and what's okay, um, how, well like what's appropriate in teacher-student relationships and how teachers like approach their students. It's set in university, it's like only got two characters in it, it all kind of takes place in one room. So that's that one, it was very quick to read, it was a relatively good book, I, I guess I'd recommend it. Well it's a play not book, but yeah I'd recommend it. The next book is a classic and it's Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. This obviously touches on romantic and sexual relationships between children and adults. Again, it's quite controversial. This is a classic and um, I've never read it before. I wanted to read it for quite a while. I did enjoy it, but I don't actually think it was quite what I was expecting. Like it took me back a bit because I, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Like, I was expecting it to seem like less of, less of an inappropriate relationship when actually it did come across as an inappropriate relationship, I think. I read it quite a while ago. The next book I really enjoyed and that is Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. This is set in Paris and it follows um, the main character um, who falls in love with a man named Giovanni. Um, this is a book about homosexual relationships. Again, I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, I definitely recommend it. Again, as you can see, it's really not that thick. It's about 150 pages. I personally love Paris, so anything that's set in Paris, I enjoy. Um, and I did enjoy this book so much that I want to go and find some more of James Baldwin's work to read because I did like his writing style. So I'd highly recommend this if you're interested in like same-sex relationships in books. Um, I don't know what, I can't remember when this was set, it was quite a while ago. I'm not entirely sure when this book was set, but it was like significantly long ago. But yeah, I also really love this cover. Like I don't really think it has anything to do with the book, but it's pretty. The next book is not the whole of this, it's only the first part. Because this is a book of plays by the same author. Um, but we read the first one in here, which is called The Children's Hour. And again, this is set in a like boarding school and it's about lies and secrets and basically kids being annoying and tattletailing on adults for things they think they've overheard to get their own back. Again, um, this also touches on like lesbian relationships but not entirely. It's more about lies than lesbianism if that makes sense. A lot of the books in this module like focus on same-sex relationships because obviously at the beginning of the 20th century and for quite a while through they were controversial when they were printed in literature um so it's kind of interesting to see how the reception's changed from then to now the next book i have spoken about on this channel before and it's lady chatterley's lover which again is a classic it's by dh lawrence i was really looking forward to reading this i'd wanted to read it for ages but i really did not enjoy it i did not think there was any character development i did not care about the characters it was just tedious boring and very very long even though it doesn't look that long, it went on for ages. Would not recommend. Um, the next one is to go alongside that, and that is The Trial of Lady, Chatterley, Lady Chatterley's Lover by Sybil Bedford. This cover is just, like, stunning. This is possibly my favourite book cover that I own. This is a recount of what happened at the trial for Lady Chatterley's Lover. And because it did go on trial, it had an obscenity trial, because a lot of swear words were used in the book. And a lot of talk about sex happened in the book. Apparently that's not okay to publish. Um, but this just recounts a trial. 
Next book is another classic, which is The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, which follows the emotional and mental turmoil of a 17 year old boy. I really enjoyed this book. I'd read it before. I've just reread it for this module. Would recommend a read. I think it's a classic and also it's not very thick. Next book I have also spoken about before and that is The Group by Mary McCarthy. This book follows a group of women who have just graduated from Vassar in the 1930s living in New York and dealing with their like relationships and their relationships with one another. This is quite a hefty book. It wasn't my favourite, but it wasn't bad either. The next book is Twilight by Stephanie Mayer. I had tried to read this before when I was 14 and I stopped after the first chapter because it's appallingly written. But yeah, again, quite a thick book. Um, obviously a classic from kind of my generation's teenhood. Um, I do have the rest of them at home because my mum bought all of them a while ago and I do intend on reading the others. However, I'm not sure I'll enjoy them because I don't think they're well written. The foreshadowing is just like plainly too obvious. I don't know. I'm not keen, but also I loved the film, so I want to give the other books a chance to see if they get better over time. And then the final book that I'm studying this semester is Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James, and we are studying this in relation to Twilight, because obviously it was originally Twilight fan fiction. And um, yeah, I don't think much needs to be said on Fifty Shades. I think everyone kind of knows about it. Again, it's not a very well written book. Again, as I've said in previous videos, I hate cliffhangers and this leaves questions unanswered. It leaves it on a cliffhanger. So at some point, probably not, not in the near future, but at some point in my life, I will read the others just to see how it ends. Even though I've watched the films, I do know how it ends. Obviously books are different to the films. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I am reading this semester at uni. If you've read any of the books, that I've mentioned then let me know your thoughts on them down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content from me and I will see you in my next video.